Hey, what is up guys? David Zhao here. And you know what I've been trying to figure out lately? How to record my camera screen. The thing is, I know how, it's just a pain because usually you need an external recorder like an Atomos Ninja, which not only would I need that, but then I'd also have to get SSDs for it to record to. It's just a lot to do just to get a screen cap of my camera's LCD. However, two weeks ago, a company called Narvitech, never heard of them, uh, asked me if I'd like to review their mobile capture card, the Narvitech Saturn NS110. And I thought, well, doesn't that work out nicely? First of all, really quickly, if you're looking for an alternative, easy way to capture your camera LCD, you of course can just record the back of your camera screen with another camera, like I did in some previous videos. But of course, that's assuming you have two sets of cameras and you're okay with the camera being locked down the whole time. But if you wanted to actually get a screen capture of the camera's live feed, showing you things like autofocus points, exposure settings, and menu navigation, you'd want some kind of external recorder or capture card. As far as I know, these are the only two ways to approach this. So option number one, normally you need an external recorder like an Atomos Ninja uh, 5, pair that with a cheap SSD as a storage medium. This is the conventional way I've seen many YouTubers approach this situation. However, you're looking at around like $600 for the external recorder alone, plus another like $20 to $50 for an SSD which if you're just using the external recorder for just this purpose alone, that's a bit pricey. And that's the reason why I never did it. Option number two, you can use this, where is it? Option number two, you can use this NS10 capture card, which goes for like $60, I think, plus a budget monitor like the Foca A50 that I reviewed previously, which costs about $210, for a solution that gets you similar results for just $270. First, let me cover how to do this. Step one, set your camera setting for HDMI clean output to off so you're transmitting all of the on-screen information via HDMI. Step two, run an HDMI out from your camera to your external monitor. Step three, run an HDMI out from the external monitor to the capture card. And step four, power the capture card by either plugging it into a wall outlet or into a power bank. Now, all you have to do is start recording on your capture card and you'll end up with a recording of your camera screen. A sweet design feature of this mobile capture card is this feature right here. Being able to record directly out to a mini SD card. It's basically the whole reason I was interested in checking out this product from Narvitech. With this feature, it means you don't have to record to a giant SSD, nor do you have to have it plugged into a laptop or desktop either. I tried finding other capture cards with this feature and I haven't been able to find another one yet. And of course, as a bonus, not only can you record your camera screen, you can use this as a normal capture card to do normal capture card things like connecting your mirrorless camera to a laptop or desktop and using it as a webcam, whether it's for business meetings on Zoom or for live streaming on YouTube or Twitch. Or you could record gameplay out of consoles like an Xbox or Nintendo Switch. And here are my final thoughts on this product specifically. I dig the unique design that allows you to record straight to a mini SD card. I also find it pretty neat that you can power it via a battery bank, making it a super portable solution for your screen recording purposes, including uh, recording your camera, turning your camera into a webcam, and for capturing gameplay. It is made of plastic, so the build quality is kinda eh, but it, technically also allows it to be super lightweight and portable, so I don't really hate it for that reason. The only thing I wish this little guy had was a battery slot for like a lithium ion battery so that it could power itself and remove the need for bringing a battery bank or finding a wall outlet. Aside from that, this little guy's got a great value proposition. It's a well-designed portable capture card that is affordable, definitely cheaper than competitors like Elgato, and offers unique features like recording directly to a mini SD card. If you wanna check this out, I left links to this, the uh, NS110 in the description down below, as well as links to any of the equipment used to make the videos on this channel. They're affiliate links, so if you do use them, it really helps the channel a lot. Hopefully you guys found this hybrid tutorial slash tech review interesting or helpful. Regardless of whichever method you'd prefer to screen cap your camera, I genuinely hope this offered some good information to you. 
As usual guys, if you enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and get notified for more content like this. In the comment section down below, if you made it all the way to the end, let me know what your favorite cereal is. Mine's Fruit Loops, hands down. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Now you see us blowing up. People used to front. Now you see them showing up. Show us up. I've been down and out, but love. Keep it a buck. I don't.